Hey guys, my recent trip to Israel and Jordan was a phenomenal trip and I'm still going through the 2000 plus photos I took so that I can do a proper blog post recap. But in the meantime, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite recipes that I ate over and over in Israel, and that's shakshuka. Shakshuka is a traditional Middle Eastern and North African dish that can be eaten for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And it's a simple combination of simmering tomatoes, onions, garlic, spices, and poached eggs. I love this recipe because it's nourishing, filling, easy to make with everyday ingredients, and it's just one of those recipes that you will make time and again. So let me show you how to make it. The word shakshuka literally means a mixture, and that's what we're gonna do. Just mix a handful of ingredients together in a saute pan. So we'll start with dicing one onion and one red bell pepper. You can dice them as large or fine as you'd like, depending on how chunky you'd like your shakshuka to turn out. And after you've diced up the red bell pepper, dice up four garlic cloves. Once everything is all chopped up, grab a large saute pan and turn on your stove to medium. Heat up two tablespoons of olive oil and add the chopped onion and bell pepper to the pan. Give these a stir for about five minutes or until the onion has become translucent. Next, add your chopped garlic and your spices. Shakshuka spices may vary a bit depending on where in the world you're eating it, but I'm using a combination of paprika, cumin, and chili powder, which is most common. So add two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, and a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. Then stir that together for another minute to really bring out the flavors in the spices and let them work their magic. For the tomatoes in this recipe, I like to use whole peeled tomatoes as it makes this process exceptionally easy and fast and you don't have to wait for fresh tomatoes to break down. But you could certainly use fresh tomatoes as well. So dump the entire 28 ounce can of tomatoes into your pan and then use a large spoon or spatula to break up the tomatoes. My only word of caution here is to be careful not to have tomato juice squirt down the front of you. After a few minutes, your sauce should be simmering again and that's when it's time to add the eggs. So create little wells in the tomato mixture and crack an egg into each well. In total, you'll wanna crack six eggs into the sauce and I do five around the edge and one in the middle. Once all the eggs are in the saute pan, reduce the heat to low, cover the pan, and set the timer for five to eight minutes, depending on how soft or firm you like your eggs. I always start with five minutes and then check to see if they need a little bit more time. While the shakshuka is simmering, you'll wanna chop up some fresh herbs for the top. You could use fresh parsley or cilantro or a combination of both, as I'm doing today. And when it comes to this dish, I say the more fresh herbs, the better. Your shakshuka should be just about done at this point, so remove the lid, check on your eggs, and if they're cooked to your liking, you're good to go. Because all that's left to do is season with salt and pepper and generously sprinkle your fresh herbs on top. I like my eggs with firm whites, but still a bit runny on the yolk, and I'd say this looks pretty darn perfect. You can see why this makes such a great meal for families, holidays, and really just any day of the week. It's super easy, packed with flavor, and very delicious. On the blog post for this recipe, I also show you a single serving portion that I enjoyed while in Tel Aviv. So yes, you could scale this down for easy individual servings as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as that helps to support my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I will see you again in next week's video.